The smoke on the street from the hamburger stand is hurting her nose and her eyes. Each doorway is a bedroom for Gloria now, and it's there that one day she may die. She sells the papers, but that ain't enough, and she sleeps every night in her clothes. Gloria's out on the street tonight. It's the only life Gloria knows. Drink and she'll dance for the man on her own, or she'll go for a ride in their car. The seat's nice and warm. When you've stood for so long And those men ain't so bad before dark But they never pay much Their touch is so rough And they say she's no life in her soul Gloria's out on the street tonight It's the only life Gloria knows the days on the street wear the shoes from her feet And the wind puts a knife in her arm She grabs at his throat She refuses a coat From a young man who means her no harm She'll often chat if those kids will chat back Most of her time She's alone. Gloria's out on the street tonight. It's the only life Gloria knows. If you can. Gloria's out on the street tonight. It's the only life Gloria knows. She misses her brother. She can't speak to her mother Since her own father told her to go the Evening is falling And she thinks about calling But there's something inside her says no She spends her loose change On a bottle again And she drinks it all down in one go It's the only life Gloria knows. This one's yours. There's trouble in this life between a husband and wife, and the bad days can bring you right down. But be sure that you know where the little ones go And always have enough love to go round Gloria sleeps in a doorway And the wind bites her fingers and toes There's three Gloria's out on the street tonight It's the only life It's the only life Gloria knows. Gloria's out on the street tonight. It's the only life Gloria knows. When I met Gloria, she was 16 years of age and she was living on the streets in Belfast and she came to a little music workshop. I thought, God, that's tough. I have four boys of my own, as I mentioned to you, who confuse a five pound note with a ten pound note. And I often said to them, I said, what will you tell your children about how tough you've had it? 
to my oldest son, Kevin, he said, I've already worked it out, though. He said, if any of my children mess about with me, I'll look them straight in the eye and I'll say, you've got it easy, kid. When I was your age, we only had three remotes for the television. <laughs> Kids that hang you and my kids just get together and they say, You're not crap, Dad, you're average. <laughs> we took the youngest two on a holiday once to Portugal. Lovely little villa, inexpensive, there's a recession. Anton ran into the apartment, dived sort of full length onto the white leather settee that was there, and his older brother Connor runs out onto the little sort of piazza, piazza, patio around the thing at the back, pulls the window back. And we're just getting ready for a nice holiday in Portugal. Connor comes in and he goes, Anton, there's a condom on the veranda. He goes, what's a veranda? <laughs> but you can't shoot them, can you? <laughs>